Morning folks. Now yes, Iran has halted oil exports to the France and UK. And yes, oil prices did go up last night. And yes, if they do this to Italy, Spain, and Greece, it will be a catastrophe financially. But as of yet, folks, uh, it is not. France barely gets any oil at all from Iran. The UK, uh, I think, gets even less. Uh, as of right now, this is just a sm another uh, small step in the wrong direction. As for attacking Iran, a bit of good news there. Both the United States and Britain gave strong warnings to Israel yesterday against uh, attacking Iran, saying it would not be prudent. Hopefully, the Israelis are listening there. Having a look at yesterday's solar wind telemetry to give you an idea about today's. Look at the yellow, that's the solar wind speed all the way over at the left. You can see we started around 300 kilometers per second and then as the corona hole stream hit, the solar wind speed began to rise. Now you can't see a huge incline there today, but look over on the left. We started at about 450 kilometers per second and we are continuing to rise. This is a fairly strong coronal hole stream, has been buffeting our magnetosphere for a while. You can see here on the Fluxgate magnetometer, uh, we have had disturbances the entire time that the coronal hole stream has been hitting. It did dip down there in the middle. You can see here on the induction magnetometer, the planet has been resounding the entire time that we've been getting hit by it. And if we do have any more disturbance whatsoever, we'll move out of the yellow and up into a geomagnetic storm. Looking on the top right, folks, that's the northwestern limb. We had a magnetic filament uh, erupt yesterday, but it will not be geoeffective. Coming over and looking on uh, at things that will be geo-effective, that dark coronal hole will be turned towards the Earth in a few days and put out another coronal hole stream. The solar active region, which gave us our first sea flare in a few days, uh, is labeled a beta spot by NOAA after being ignored for about 36 hours. I'm going to have to disagree and say that this is a beta gamma spot. Now, this extra morphing that caused that complexity may have happened after they labeled it, but as of this morning at about 5.45 a.m., uh, really magnetically complex here, and it is a beta gamma spot. Other than that, folks, uh, we have magnetic filaments everywhere. We saw that one lift off the top right of the sun uh, yesterday. So let's hope for no more of that. That's the news, folks. Be safe.